Uh, thank you for joining us here this afternoon. I, um, you know, I do know, and I know that many of the legislators uh, and elected officials, thanks Carol for being here, uh, recognize as uh, homelessness, the challenge of homelessness is one of the most daunting and um, uh, challenging uh, issues that we will face as a community. Uh, and certainly we've learned that uh, only when we work together can we make significant progress. Uh, I just would like to thank uh, each and every one of you who are here today um, because I'm proud of the fact that for three consecutive years, the point in time count has been reduced uh, statewide, which really demonstrates that by working together, we can make progress. So I just really wanted to thank each and every one of you. Sometimes because we still see homeless in our community, people have the feeling that we're not making progress, but I really felt it was important that we start from that place. We are making progress. It is something that will require relentless effort for years to come, and I just really want to thank you for being part of that. I'll be signing a number of bills today that really are focused on homelessness. Before I get started on today's bills, I would like to note that I've already signed Senate Bill 471 as Act 62, which appropriated $10.8 million. Again, a core funding of our housing first, um, looking at rapid rehousing, family assessment centers, uh, and homeless outreach. And all of those are vital components of, um, of our homeless efforts. Uh, I did sign that earlier uh, in the year, and so I really um, wanted to talk about that. I would also like to note and thank the legislators here. Um, the state budget <coughs> did include significant um, funds for affordable housing, and I do talk about those programs uh, together because uh, creating affordable housing is the long-term solution um, to uh, homelessness in our community. Uh, and uh, this past session, we appropriated uh, more than $200 million uh, to um, build more affordable rentals, uh, to invest in infrastructure that enable affordable um, projects all across the state, uh, and um, funding for our rental assistance program, which allows us to create more affordable projects um, throughout the state. So I did want to start by that. Uh, today's bills, I'll be signing uh, three measures that um, have an impact on homelessness. First is House Bill 257, which extends the uh, Ohana Zones pilot project. Um, the Emergency Department Assessment Pilot Project um, and uh, appropriates $2 million in additional funds to um, construct modular temporary units uh, on um, property that we have, or private property. Uh, and then finally, um, to allow us to renovate existing structures uh, on public lands um, that develop uh, permanent supportive housing for the long term. Uh, the other two bills that I'll be si signing uh, help us do a better job of reaching, especially those who are chronically homeless. Uh, Senate Bill 1124, encourages the use of assisted, assisted community treatment. We do know that many uh, that are homeless in our community, especially the chronically homeless, um, have mental illness or substance abuse um, challenges, and Senate Bill 1124 uh, facilitates assisted community treatment uh, so that we can provide the services that um, these individuals need. And then finally, uh, Senate Bill 567 appropriates $100,000 to the Department of Health to contract for legal assistance uh, to help demystify the process for family members when a relative um, with untreated mental illness ends up being homeless and on the streets. You know, once again, um, we are and um, wanted to acknowledge the lieutenant governor really taking on the challenge of chronically homeless. These are the most uh, difficult individuals in our community. Uh, and the second two measures are really focused on how can we provide and get uh, help for those who need it and may not realize that. 
um, certainly um, trying to encourage them and, and get them the required services um, that they need. Uh, so I would like to uh, thank all the legislators. I know that this is uh, a, an issue that um, all of us uh, support and have been working together. Um, I think it's um, been a partnership that really works uh, well and look forward to more work moving forward. Uh, Joy, I, do you want to say a few words on behalf of the House? On behalf of the House. Sure. Thank you. And thank you so much, Governor, for signing these bills. Um, HB 257 basically extends the Ohana Zones project. We have shown a point in time count in 2019 that the Big Island's unsheltered homeless had dropped substantially by over 20%. And by extending the Ohana Zones bills and adding funding, we hope to be able to replicate that same progress to Oahu. Um, hopefully also with the ACT treatments that we can get a handle on the mentally ill, the chronically homeless people. And we, I hope to extend that to the neighbor islands. Right now, that's very Oahu-centric. And so next session, Governor, hopefully we'll have it on the Big Island as well. But thank you very much. This goes a long way to extending what we've started last year. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So. I don't see Senator Rumer. Senator, Senator Rhodes, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I will concentrate uh, mainly on uh, SB 1124. Uh, I, these are all part of our uh, state's homelessness pack, or anti-homeless, or not anti-homeless, uh, <laughs> pro-housing of homeless uh, <laughs> package. How's that? Yes. Um, 1124 is, uh, is a, uh, there was a bill about six years ago now that my predecessor, Susie Chen Oakland, uh, authored and we passed. It's called Assisted Community Treatment. It has been very difficult to implement. Um, there's, it's a very complicated bill. Some have argued that it's harder to get someone in assisted community treatment, which is a less restrictive setting, than it is to actually have someone committed to the state hospital. So 1124 is an attempt to keep the, um, keep the legal safeguards in place so that, it, so that the, the psychiatric care is not abused, but make to, just to streamline the process so the people who really, really need the help, who don't generally know they need the help, can be helped. There's not that many situations in politics where uh, there's win-wins. There's Often you're having to decide between one, uh, one position or another. Uh, this, is, this is a win-win. If we can get people who are mentally ill on the street to take their medications, um, it's better for them, and it's better for the businesses around them where they stay, and it's better for the residents of the neighborhood. So uh, the, new, the new therapies, the new uh, prescription drugs for some of the common or more, more common illnesses, uh, mental illnesses that we see in, in Chinatown and other places are quite effectively treated by these drugs, and uh, I have high hopes that uh, this bill and uh, the, o the other bill, the other mental health bill, is really, oddly enough, that one of the choke points has been attorneys. It's a medical issue, but the choke point has been the attorneys, so this will pro provide more funding uh, for attorneys statewide. Uh, both bills apply statewide. So I will stop there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator. Please, the legislators can come up this area to sign the measure. <laughs> okay, so first up um, in our homelessness um, package is House Bill number 257, House Draft 2, Senate Draft 1, Conference Draft 1, a bill for an act uh, relating to homelessness. Uh, this is the one that extends the Ho Ohana Zones measure last, passed last year and adds two million additional dollars. And House Bill 257 is now law as Act 128. <laughs> <laughs> Um, next up is Senate Bill 1124, Senate Draft 2, House Draft 1, Conference Draft 1, a bill for an act relating to mental health. And this 
uh, is the measure that supports assisted streamlines, streamlines assisted. the assisted community treatment. Which is now law as Act 129. <laughs> and then finally, Senate Bill 567, Senate Draft 2, House Draft 2, Conference Draft 1, a bill for an act relating to mental health treatment, which provides $100,000 for uh, legal assistance. Is now law is Act 130.